All right, VSTs are useful for improving the overall production quality of your stream, especially on your voice. I mean, the people need to hear you. Anyway, let's get into it. And if these videos are helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. We're doing a lot more stream tech videos to help you improve your live stream production and content creation. All right, setting up VST effects in Expert Broadcaster is quite easy. All you need to do is open up the audio mixer, go to the settings for the microphone. You'll see the audio DSP effects, scroll down, and then you're gonna set the folder where the VSTs are located and then click refresh. And then you'll be able to use the drop down menu to select the VSTs. Once you've added your VSTs, you can add as many as you want and it has to be VST3, but you just click the settings window and then you can open up the interface for the VST. So the first VST you wanna set up is an equalizer or an EQ. And what an EQ is used for is to add or remove certain frequencies, basically raise or lower them to improve the sound of your voice. So the first one you wanna do is you wanna do a high pass filter. And what this does is it cuts out certain low frequencies. So around 70 Hertz works and this will remove different things like, you know, low rumble or like AC noise or computer noise. And you wanna do a high pass filter to remove high frequencies. This also could be from the wind. Now you wanna pinpoint certain frequencies to lower or raise. Now this differs from person to person. Everyone has a different voice and different things they wanna change. So experiment this on your own, but some guidelines to start with, you know, around 100 to 200 Hertz, this is where you're gonna have the bass in your voice. So you can find a point here and raise it if you want your voice to sound a bit more bassy. And then around 4,000 to 5,000 and 9,000 to 10,000, this is where you can also raise and kind of give more clarity to your voice. And then it depends on pers person to person, depends how sibilant their voice is, but usually around 1,000 to 2,000. These are some frequencies that you might want to remove that again, help improve your voice. And the EQ that I use is the FabFilter Pro Q3. Now this is a paid VST, but there's tons of free EQ VSTs that you can try. And there's also an EQ built into Expert Broadcaster. It may not have all the same different passes and all the different tools, but it's a good start, so either go free or use XSplits. There's tons of places to go for different EQ VSTs. All right, compressors are always kind of tricky to explain, but basically they're useful if your voice is gonna go really high or really low. Kind of keeps it even for the viewers so they don't need to adjust their volume levels too much. So basically what you do is you set a threshold and what the threshold is gonna do, and you're also gonna set a compression ratio, but what it's gonna do is once things go over there, it's gonna bring them down and it's also gonna bring things that are lower a bit up. Uh, so you can set a two to one or three to one compression ratio and then you wanna set the attack. This is basically how fast the compressor kicks in and the release and you know, that's how fast it slows down. So probably a fast attack and a slightly slow release. Again, you can play with these and experiment with them. And then the final thing you wanna set is makeup gain. So when the level is compressed, it tends to lower the volume a bit. So you want to set makeup gain. Don't set this too high because the next tool we're going to talk about is actually going to help with this, but this will help keep your volume at a certain level so that there's not these crazy highs and crazy lows. So really useful tool to use. So we always have hype moments in gaming where we scream or shout and like those are the best moments, right? But nothing makes it worse than the audio clipping or getting distorted. And that's what this last tool is for, which is the limiter. So Unlike the compressor, the limiter only focuses on the peaks of your audio. And generally how a limiter works is you set the limit. So, you know, clipping is about zero dB, so you don't want it to go to that level. So you'll set it to maybe negative two, negative three dB. And advanced limiters will not only let you limit the audio, basically what they do is if it reaches that level, it'll lower it down so it doesn't peak or clip. But what you can also do is raise the overall level. So I like to do this as the last step. So basically now that I have my compression, my EQ, I wanna raise the level so that I'm just barely touching the limit. Like it's not happening every single word that I say, but you know, here and there, if it hits the limiter, because it'll start sounding really weird and messed up if you're just peaking too high, but set the limit and get it just right and get the levels just right. And by this time, you should have really good levels, really clear audio that people can hear. And it's a really useful tool to make sure that you don't mess up your audio. So those are the main VSTs you're gonna to wanna to get started with if you're gonna be live streaming and these will carry you a really far way. There's also things like de-essers and de-clicks and removing mouth noise. 
that's getting more advanced. But if you have any questions about these VSTs, and again, there's always free versions out there of compressors and limiters, and some of these are already built into Expert Podcaster as well. So you just gotta go look for them. But if you have any questions, let us know in the comments. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.